Hi, I'm Dr. Rasya from Dr. Dixit Clinic, Bangalore. The epidemic of PCOD is on a rise. Many young women are now falling prey to the silent epidemic, which is on the rise because of our uh, lifestyle as well as stress-related issues. And what is important to know is that this condition can not only present just with irregular cycles, but can also present to a dermatologist with various conditions. What we commonly see is acne. And this acne usually, when you see it in polycystic ovaries or hormonal acne, we see a lot of jawline acne, acne which is more on the jawline or around the mouth area and which is very resistant to treatment and which comes on just before your onset of your period. Another thing that we commonly see is skin becoming darker, especially around the mouth, around the neck and in the underarms area. We call this condition acanthosis nigricans and this can present, the patients are very perturbed by this kind of pigmentation which looks really bad and then they want to come in to see us for treatment but actually we diagnose that this is actually polycystic ovaries and they need a lifestyle modification as well. The third and the most common thing that we see in patients with PCOD is hirsutism or facial and body hair growth which can be on the upper lip, on the chin, on the sideburn area, on the chest or on the tummy area in a woman. And of course polycystic ovaries does not even spare this hair on your scalp. So a lot of thinning in the mid scalp area or in the area of the um, forehead here you see there is a lot of thinning on the scalp and that is one more way that polycystic ovary people present to us. So usually the person assumes that they just have a small skin problem but it's a systemic condition and it's very important to be aware that only the lifestyle changes can make a significant improvement and in suggestion with your dermatologist you should also make these changes to get better results at PCOD.